spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm gonna be asking the question, what is wrong with the pure arrow, the Babolat pure arrow? What is wrong with it? All right, so beginning with this generation, which is the previous generation, um, the color is great. I love, everybody loves this fluorescent yellow with the black. It's wonderful, okay? Now, the head guard sucks, okay? It's, it's a pain in the ass to put on. It wears out super quick. Um, I mean, I've seen people who've used this twice and the string is exposed after that. So the strings keep breaking. So you have to constantly change this guard out in this old version. Um, so that drove me crazy. I was changing guards left and right in this old version. And if you've tried changing this guard, it ain't easy. I mean, I, I can do it, but it ain't easy. And I got a lot of practice at it now too. But people tend to like this racket. So it was fine except for the guard problem. Strings breaking premature all the time, pain in the ass grommet all right and then came this one the new pure arrow why this yellow it's like a banana it's the banana yellow arrow is what i called it okay now when i complained about it to babylon they're like oh yeah you know it looks great out in the sun well yeah i took it out to the sun and it still looks banana yellow to me. But when you hang this racket on the wall here, right? It looks like a banana yellow racket. Like I get no sun in the store, right? So it, it, it doesn't look great, okay? So after a year, racket plays well, finally takes off, starts selling really well. Um, probably top three racket uh, in sales in the nation. Now the strings now starts to keep breaking at a rapid pace. Like I have kids, I have adults breaking the strings like so fast that I've had to resort to using RPM 15 light in these rackets um, and them having to buy three or four rackets. And I'm like, what is going on with this racket? Why is the strings breaking so fast, right? Well, I took the old one and the new one and I put them side by side like this, right? It's hard to see this way. It's hard to see this way, but hang on, I'll flip it to the other side. It's hard, to, but they changed, they changed the, uh, the pattern of it. So you, it's hard to see going this way in the strings, but they widened out the string bed a bit, which gives you more spin. Uh, you can't really tell, but it gives you more spin. I'll go like that. Maybe that'll be better. Um, so that gives you more spin, but it allows for the strings to move more and easier therefore breaking strings faster. Like I had a kid that, two kids, that went from using a 17 gauge RPM straight up to using a 15 light RPM. Um, and these kids never used to break strings. And now they're breaking three every week to two weeks. So it's, uh, I mean, I'm sure they're playing well with it, and but there you're just breaking strings fast now with this racket and well it, it it is supposed to be the spin machine right so you're supposed to get a lot of spin off of this and um you know power nadal right so i guess that's what it's offering you but the downside is i mean you're breaking strings like potato chips here all right my third complaint is these rackets aren't 
very durable. I mean, I have, I have a rack full of cracked rackets up there. Like all these are from the last two generations, right? They crack pretty easily, right? And they crack usually at the top like that one. Yeah, see, at the top like that one. They're all cracking right at the top. So they're pretty fragile, uh, especially, you know, with junior players that play tournaments every weekend. I mean, they're switching, I mean, they're cracking rackets probably one every three to four months. That's kind of alarming to me. So, I mean, do you guys play with this racket? I mean, it's a great racket, don't get me wrong. It's just there's some flaws in these rackets that kind of need to be worked out a bit. I mean, they, they took care of the head guard a little bit better in the new version. Like the old version had these chambers, which drove me crazy of putting them in. And then you had to string it a certain way. There was a short side and a long side. Um, and they, they took it out in this version, which was great for the stringers. So you don't have to think about it. All right. So do you guys play with this racket? Do you guys have the same problem as what I'm seeing? Um, do you love this racket? And, you know, no matter what happens to it, you're going to stick with it. Um, let me know. All right. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.